Hi guys, it's Angie with Itty Bitty Crafts and I'm coming today with some project shares um, with uh, bonus projects and then also um, a little house that I had done. Um, anyway, so let's get started. So I've been working really hard on gnomes still. Um, I just absolutely adore making them and this one I actually made for um, one of my really good friends who just got back from Ireland and it was her 40th birthday so um, I she she loved the gnome so anyways I went ahead and made her a gnome so this is felted out of 100% wool robing and so and then this is some beard um, I'm not sure what um, where this came from it's like alpaca or whatnot but anyways so that's what I made out of his beard and then you know he's got a nose and then I felted a shamrock here and then um, everybody knows I love dangles so I kind of uh, found lucky in my stash and some green uh, glass beads and then I felted a pocket on the side and then I put a belt on him and then I also went ahead and um, put this wood piece and wrote a little thing on there for her um, so I think she'll totally love that and then also she's also getting um i took some pictures of this this is a a faux cupcake that i made and so this is all of it all wrapped up and he's just in there he's like a little deer with the tree she lives out in the woods um so i thought and she's also a cake decorator and baker so i thought what better way to give her something that she does um, that she could have forever than a fake cupcake so Anyway, so it's just made, it's it's pretty simple, it's just um, um, foam filler like that expands in the cracks um, and then you get it at the hardware store and then a cupcake and a doily and then I wrote happy, birth, happy 40th on there to her and then I turned one of my pine cones into a dangle and I wrote some crystals of course and then just tied it off with some dotted tool and I kept it, you know, very kind of elegant and chic. And I think she'll totally love those. So we'll just put those over here. And then I made a couple more gnomes. I made uh, this one with cell purple. He's got some purple dangles on him. And he's he's a, a medium sized gnome. This one's a large. And this one's medium. And so same thing, a pocket and um, a little gem on here. And then um, did a swirl up here of wool. <laughs> And then I also found these awesome tags online and they say homemade so I they're like the bronze aged bronze tags and I just fell in love with them with them and I thought they would be awesome on my projects to put those on there and then I made it like well he's itty bitty I kind of he's tiny and so I made this little gnome and the little purple one I put a little itty bitty button that was gifted to me and he put a belt on him and a little gem on here on top and so he's kind of simple because he's so small. Um, kind of made his, you know, his beard as long, long beard. Uh, but I just, I'm loving these gnomes. And um, like I said, they're not too hard to make. They're pretty fun, intermediate, I would say, um, if you wanted to try to get in it. If you have any questions about felting, I can, you know, try to help you as best I can um, with what I've learned from it. Um, these next two pieces are commission work that um, that these are made for for a lady here and um, she uh, saw me post these and she uh, fell in love with it so she asked if I could if I could make her one and so this is my little another little snow princess because we still are in winter and I made it uh, with lace and some tulle and some doilies and then I put some little pearl uh, button thing here and then a little metal crown and this she's made out of paper clay and she's hand painted and then dipped in glitter and then I went ahead and put that little homemade tag on the back I just think it it's just adds another level to it I think it's super cute and she's this little tiny thing also and the next thing is a little house which we've all been waiting for probably so we'll get into that and I made another charm my first charm was a big hit and this one um, will also probably be a big hit because it's tea themed. The other one was kind of a lucky theme. It was kind of more of an Irish and, and luck. But this one is tea themed. This person um, loves tea and adores tea. So we've got the charms on there. We've got my little key and a little tea kettle and some roses and a tiny teacup on there. Some beadwork. And this, 
I found these cameos at Michael's and I love them. I wish I would have bought the whole rack. <laughs> and then a little heart charm. I think this one's a Tim Holtz. We all love Tim Holtz. And then a little tin or a little uh, tea plate, tea cup plate. And then he would get, and this one actually can come off. So this is pretty cool. I actually put a clasp on the, the top and bottom. And I don't know, maybe you could wear it for a bracelet. I'm not sure, but it would look cute as one as well. Um, but then here's the little house and this little dome thing. So this one has crystals and this is more like shaped like a teardrop. And this one was a really neat find. And then inside is my little itty bitty house. So um, from top to bottom, it's um, like I said, they're under an inch, a little over a quarter of an inch. So it's a tiny little house with, um, I'm probably have to back out a little bit. So, the little chimney and the grass and the little bushes with pink. And this house is pink. So this one will sit inside here. And then, um, and then you'll just go in and I'll just clasp it back on. So I thought it was a neat idea to, you know, be able to take it on and off. And then I just topped it off with a tie bow um, in the light pink color. So there's my little house I love it as again one of my favorites I I love coming up with crazy ideas and in challenges for them um, uh, they've been you know so fun to make and anyway so there's that one little house and then I did a my first ever snippet roll um, this one is a little tiny well not itty bitty but it's a pretty small snippet roll and I kind of got a little crazy with it um, I kind of made mine a collage snippet. That's kind of where I think my style is also. Um, I also have keys, crystals, layers of trim, rhinestones, rusty bells, rusty washers, um, tags. I love sayings and words. I live by them. They're, they're very important to me. So anyways, I have those and then a rusty um, pin here and then I just hung a piece of doily off here with a little rose on it and some crystals obviously and then on the back I just put a layer of roses on the back there of trim and then when I rolled mine up mine didn't really roll up it kind of turned <laughs> too thicker than I wanted it to so I uh, came up with the idea that I'm gonna make this a hanger and I'm not completely done with it um, I'll do another share project share on it completed if I decide to um, I'm thinking I'm going to make a, hang it on a frame, um, maybe like a substrate that's in a certain shape, like a big long rectangle, and I think it would look really pretty and it framed. So anyways, this is my fr very first ever snippet roll. I love it. I'm, I think it turned out really good, totally my style, like I said, with the rust in there and the rusty bolts. And again, one of those um, cameos that I found at Michael's that I just totally adore in the rhinestones so there's that and then um, I bought a kit off my friend Rose and a lot of you people know Rose and she had her first ever little kit and so I thought I'm it'd be fun to support her and um, support her in her very first kit so I went ahead and purchased it and this is what I came up with and so um, this was the top of the box and it's a flip it flip box and um, so I started out with a rusty pin and then her buttons everything I used in here 98% is with her kit I just added a few laces or some muslin um, to it but everything else is hers um, I ripped some muslin to look like leaves over here made it like a little collage and then um, some seam binding to close it and then I put like a little rhinestone there. And then the back is just simple. And I just added some little flower, plat, uh, I think they're plastic flowers that came on the kit. Anyways, so you open it like this. And then here's my first. I made mine a collage flip it. And um, I tattered everything. Obviously, you can see I tattered all the material. And then here's the second one, second collage. And then um, here's the third one. And again, I use my little tag in there. And then here's the fourth one. 
And then here's the fifth one. And then this one just comes out in a tag and it's just a collage tag. So anyways, um, I had a lot of fun making this little kit and supporting my friend Rose. And um, anyways, so those are some of the things I've been working on. Um, I really got to bust down and hunker down and get some more houses done. Um, and I'll be project sharing those soon. Anyways, I hope everybody's having a wonderful 2018 so far. Um, I hope you guys are all getting your projects done and out there. Um, I need to catch up on a lot of things as well. So um, I hope everybody's having a nice week. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.